Well, mental health has become an important topic these days between the pandemic and different economic issues happening right now. A lot of reasons to be stressed. Absolutely. Well, one group is looking to help with the healing. The Rock to Recovery program uses music to improve and better mental health. So joining us now are the authors of the book Rock to Recovery, Music as a Catalyst for Human Transformation. So we have our rock star Wes Gear, who toured with the band Korn for several years and co-author and speaker Constance Sharf. Thank you both for being here this morning. Good morning. Yeah, there we go. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Oh, appreciate you. you being here. All right, so first just let's dive into what is the program? What is Rock to Recovery all about? Yeah, so I'm a man who went to rehab to help save my life from addiction and mental health uh, issues I had. And uh, we were doing things like yoga, very cool painting pictures, but we didn't have a music program. So I had my guitar in this treatment center and I saw how it could transform the, uh, the room when I just started playing music. So after the corn gig was coming to an end for me, I wanted to figure out a way to help proliferate the use of music, playing music as a healing force in various forms of treatment. It's, it's such a, a cool approach and one that I think would resonate with a lot of people. I mean, we've, we talk all the time about music's healing benefits and, and how it helps to connect with people. Who, who does this program then help? I'll let the, the doc speak to that. In the Portland area, we work primarily with addiction treatment programs. Nationally, we work also with veterans, with youth groups. Um, we actually have worked with senior programs. So really, literally anyone with a brain, and I don't mean that uh, in any sort of sarcastic way, playing music and singing helps your brain to function better. Hmm. It's really, it, it's interesting. I've heard that before, but it, it's, it's nice to see it used in this this avenue. Yeah. I, I failed to mention this when I was introing you guys. You guys are here right now. And I know to We're the people <laughs> at home, it doesn't look like that because we have to, you know, yeah. stay COVID safe and friendly. So couldn't yeah. have you guys in the studio. But um, what, what, are, what brings you specifically to, to Oregon and Southwest Washington right now? I was asked to speak for an organization tonight called 4D and carry my story and my message. Oh, that's, that's great. Cool. So uh, being able to bring bring uh, the, the message out here to the Northwest. Yeah, fantastic. Wel welcome. We're sorry we can't have you in the studio. I know. I know next time. Next keep time. Keep everybody socially that's okay. distant. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I just think this is such a such a great program and a, and a great way to connect with people who maybe have felt like uh, you know just some of these other uh, like you said, Wes, like these other treatments or, or methods just didn't necessarily connect with them in, in, in the way that really would help them to kind of open up. So uh, I, I'm curious too, how did the two of you get together to start working on this? Yeah, well, if I, I could saw, just, oh, oh, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> I saw the Rock to Recovery program. I was working as director of research for a, a treatment facility in Malibu, California. And I saw the Rock to Recovery program. My specialty is complementary therapies. I look at the intersection of addiction and trauma and what can we do to improve treatment outcomes. And when I saw the magic of people in detox, being proud of themselves, engaging in treatment more, wanting to be part of uh, the Rock to Recovery group, I actually left that position uh, before the end of the year to work for Rock to Recovery. Oh, wow. Music changes lives. And you know that because when you have a bad day and you hear a song you like on the radio and you listen to your own, you know, carpool karaoke and, it, you know, and you sing along, you feel better. Imagine if you are depressed, suicidal, uh, addicted, how much better singing and playing music can make that person feel. So I came over to Rock to Recovery immediately when I saw it. That's fantastic. So if, if, if you know, whether it was myself or someone I know, how, how can somebody get in touch with Rock to Recovery and, and how do I maybe direct them that way? We're all over social media, easy to find. Rock, R-O-C-K, two, T-O, recovery you can hit us on instagram dm us where we have active profiles on linkedin and facebook we're there we get actually get a lot of inquiries and people reaching out all the time uh looking for help you know and uh you just never know what's gonna be that thing somebody can grab onto that pulls them out of the bog if you will yeah, and if you need help in the Portland area, go to our website because we list all of our program partners here in uh, in Oregon and Washington. Oh, great. I'm glad you mentioned that. That's yeah, fantastic. that is great. Well, Wes Gear and Constance Sharp, thank you so much for joining us. Great to talk with you both.
Thanks Thank for uh, having us on. It's Absolutely. an honor and a privilege. Oh, appreciate it. Appreciate your time. And of course, their new book, Rock to Recovery, it details some of the uh, stories of healing that this program has helped bring about. So if you're interested in learning more, we're going to have the link to the program and uh, some of the events that you can find there on our YouTube page. Go to Coin6 on YouTube and you'll find that information along with this interview. Yeah, great stuff.